Because now if you eat your leftovers past the week, you get them. I don't care what nobody say, you get them. Hey y'all, what up? Welcome back to another raggedy vlog. Listen, today is still Wednesday, November the 22nd. I'm tired to be picking y'all up, chomping in y'all ear. But girl, if y'all watched my vlog before this one, then y'all will know that your girl starving. I'm on this ADF journey. And baby, this is the first thing I done ate today. Beef and broccoli. Y'all, I am starving. Like, you feel me? Like, starving like Marvin. So I was like, I told y'all in the previous vlog, I'm going to end that one. And I'm going to pick this one up for Thanksgiving. Even though today ain't Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. But I'm going to start cooking today. So I'm just going to show y'all real quick what we got on the menu. And then, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. It's probably going to be a short vlog because y'all know I don't cook. So I don't want to turn this vlog into me cooking for an hour because I'm not getting ready to bore y'all like that. So I'm just going to show y'all what's on the menu. I'm going to show y'all a little bit of what I'm going to be cooking. I'm going to make some more. I'm spinning the block on that cabbage, baby. Just call me a cabbage patch kid because the month said he wanted some more cabbage. So we're not traditional over here as far as Thanksgiving. So I'm not doing no dressing. I'm doing stove top stuffing. And yeah, that's going to be it. I'm going to throw me some brown gravy on top of that. And baby, that's going to be it with my cranberry sauce. Today is an eat day for me, so that's why you see me chomping on this beef and broccoli. I got to get ready to wash these dishes because I can't cook in no dirty kitchen. Like, one thing my mama told me, never cook in a dirty kitchen and always clean as you cook. And that's what I tend to stick to in my adulthood, you feel me? So, anyway, I had to buy me another pot because normally when I cook a head of cabbage, it fits. I tried to cook two heads of cabbage last time. I had to put the leftover in the freezer. So this is the pot that I just picked up from Walmart. Hold on. And I showed this in my last vlog too. I picked this Farberware pot up. And if y'all don't know, this color right here is my favorite kitchen color. I don't know why, I just fell in love with this color for some reason. And I be trying to find any and everything I can that's this color. But this pot, baby, is heavy duty. First of all, it was $32. I ain't never in my life spent $32 on no raggedy pot. Cause I don't cook like that. So who am I investing in some cookware? But anyway, I went and grabbed it because I wanted to make sure that I had enough room to fit those two heads of cabbage in. So yeah, this is the pot and it was $32, like I said. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry, y'all, I had to go put it down on the counter. But yeah, that's pretty much it for right now, y'all. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this vlog. I have no idea. Like I said, I ain't gonna be sitting up here cooking for five hours. If that's the case, then I might as well go live. But I'm scared to go live, so I ain't going live right now. The money's at work, waiting on him to get off. If y'all watched my previous vlog, then y'all will know that my tire fell off the rim today. I caught myself trying to go up to the gas station, baby, and put some air in my tire. And, baby, the whole tire popped off the rim. Thank God the tire itself didn't pop, but it popped off the rim. So I had to call the tow truck and everything, baby. It, it, it was just a whole fiasco. So, baby, I am tired. So I'm going to go ahead and start on these dishes. And I'm going to watch me some YouTube videos while I'm cooking. And then tomorrow I will pick up and show y'all everything that I cooked today and whatever we gonna finish cooking tomorrow. I know tomorrow Lamont is going to cook the snow crabs and that might be it. I don't think he cooking nothing else. I put him in charge of the snow crabs, baby, because he know how to cook them snow crabs. He know how to cook, period. Like, Lamont is the cook in my house. Like, I don't really cook like that. My kids will even tell you, quick, mommy, you know you don't cook. I don't, Lamont is the cook in my house. So anyway, I ain't gonna talk y'all head off too much longer. I'ma finish eating my beef and broccoli. Wash the dishes. And then I'ma go on back my business and let y'all enjoy y'all Thanksgiving day. All right, I'll be back. Hey y'all, what up? I'm back from washing the dishes. So I want to show y'all real quick what's gonna be on our menu for tomorrow. So like I said, I'm not no cook. So a lot of this stuff is gonna be quick pop in the oven or quick pop in the microwave. Y'all, I'm from the microwave generation 
and that's how I grew up. I was a latchkey kid. When I had to come home from school, I used to throw oodles and noodles in the microwave. My mama did not want me touching that stove when she wasn't there. So I'm cool with that, and I took that over into adulthood. This is everything that we're going to be chomping on for the next two or three days. Y'all know how we do with these Thanksgiving leftovers, baby. We eat for two or three days. Won't be no wheat, though, because now if you eat your leftovers past the wheat, you get them. I don't care what nobody say. You get them. Throw them leftovers away. Please, throw them away. All right, y'all. Here you go. Can we get it together? Stop. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
GG wagon, for the Rover. I put some ice on you, cause you got a cold fly. I know I gotta keep it all these go, go. Got the ass to the floor. Take a spotlight. 